dope, dope, dope of the culture, this is more than just a phase Feeling like tsunami, see my wall sweat, what a waste It's your boy Tsunami Timo Tsunami Timo What's poppin' YouTube, it's your boy Tsunami Timo And today, I wanna show you guys all my brushes So let's get right into it When I first started off, I know you guys know what this is Boom, double sided uh, wave enforcer brush from Walmart. Not advertising for this, but this is what I started off with. Throw that in the trash because we don't use that no more. Then uh, the next brush I got was another wave enforcer. You see the writing coming off. That was uh, because I had lost one. I got another one. I had like three of them double sided ones just to brush my hair before I even had wave. Another one. Now, we got another wave enforcer brush. What the fuck? I don't know where the hell I got these from. These is, um, they was in the dungeon, boy. Dungeon Dragon here. Nah, but, um, another one. This one don't even got the writing on the cheap brush. So when you guys ask me for brushes, this is what I started off with. You guys probably should start off with this too. Before you jump out the window and try to ask me for a brush, you need to see what I started off with. Another wave enforcer. I don't even know what number this is. If you need a brush, this is cheap. Walmart, you can get one of these or the other ones. Okay, when I uh, went and leveled up, I don't, I don't even consider it level up, but from them brushes I just showed you, I went ahead and got a soft Diane. Somebody told me these was knockoffs. Don't know, I don't really don't care because um, I don't use them anymore, but they work while they was, uh, when this was all I had, this worked. So a soft, I, part, I bought, they didn't have a medium, so I bought this, a club brush. I used this for the washing style, y'all seen that. Um, I bought this as a hard D9007. I don't like this because of the bristle alignment. Uh, then I bought this. This is supposed to be a softy. This is the 8119. You can't even tell because the numbers rubbed off. Um, then I bought this because I was clueless. And I thought I may need an extra hard, so I bought this D8. 159 this is an extra hard never used this so it just sits around you probably don't need this either anyway these i got these and then this one so next i went and got a crown quality and a torino pro curved brush with the handle after i got those brushes i was like okay i got the medium hard crown quality brush with the handle like i just said and i got a medium soft but we're gonna show you all the curved brushes with the handle I got this one, this is a hard, this is getting crazy, I never wolfed where I felt like I'm wolfing on top of a wolf, so that's why I was telling you guys I might have to um, cut against the grain this time just to even it out, but um, yeah, this is a hard Torino Pro curve brush, then um, this one I won in the contest, uh, this is a medium brush, I like the bristles, they kind of sharp on your head though, but it's a nice medium brush. Then, uh, this is the medium soft that I purchased. I don't even know if they have this for available still on uh, Amazon. But it's a Torino Pro, right? Then, um, this is the crown quality that I purchased. This is a medium hard. This is a nice brush. Especially when you're wolfing. I probably should give me a medium hard uh, Torino Pro like this. But I haven't done that yet. Next time I get it. If I get another brush next month, I'll probably get this one in a Torino Pro. And this is a soft brush. Uh, the guy wet them up sent me this one. I like this brush. This is a soft Torino Pro. Can't even see the writing, but it's on there. Um, then I got this. Uh, this is a medium Torino Pro. I like this one a lot. This is one of my go-to brushes when I'm using a curved brush. This brush right here, Torino Pro. This one is the one with the Oreo, so it has the uh, the soft, the medium soft, and the medium soft. I guess yeah. This is a dope brush too, I like this a lot. Now we've seen these brushes, now let's move on to the other brushes. Okay, so in another video that I did, I discussed this Wave Pro. I believe this is a medium soft or medium. It's a nice little curved brush, but it's not Torino Pro crown quality. And I just got this a few months ago, so I didn't start off with this. This is a new addition. All right, nice little brush. Then, I decided to start getting some straight brushes. Um, Cause I didn't want to carry around the curved brushes. I felt like they was too bulky, so I got this. This is a medium. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight row. Okay, so this is a medium eight row Torino Pro. 100% bore bristles on this one, and then the number is zero six five six. 
you can check that out on Amazon if they still have it. Then I went ahead and got a soft eight row. This is a Torino Pro as well, but it doesn't have the number. Um, then I went ahead and bought this. This is a uh, extra soft Torino Pro. You really don't need this. I hardly use this one. Then I bought this. this is a this right here is a soft firm Torino Pro. I like the wood finish on it, so I copped this too. And I believe this is a seven row. Now these are the ones that I got next. Now let's move on because it's not, it's never ending. I think I got about 40 brushes, so let's continue. So let's stay with the trend, okay? So I got a medium hard Torino Pro. This is the 11 roll. I really like this brush. 11 rolls is my new favorite. As far as straight brushes are concerned, the 11 roll is my go-to now. So this is a medium hard. This is a 11 roll medium. I like the color on this Torino Pro once again. Um, and then I got a soft 11 roll. This is a Torino Pro. The color is nice too. And then I got a medium soft Torino Pro. Um, I like this brush a lot too. So these were my next four. Let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to keep going with these straight ones. So I got this. I believe it's an eight row, but it has two different colors. One right here, and then it has some kind of wood grain finish on the side, and then the front is black. And then we got another one, but this one is a seven row, and it's a uh, soft. Yeah, this is soft. So it has this color, and then that, and this. And then I purchased this face because everybody's been talking about this. So I want to try it out. Uh, I really don't believe the hype behind this. But this is what it is. This is a spacer and it's five rows. Okay, so then I bought some royalty brushes because when I first got into uh, buying a lot of brushes, they didn't have these available for some time. So I had to come back and purchase these when they came back. So I got this as a softy. I thought it was a medium when I said it in previous video, but this is a soft. But it feels different than this 8169 OG Diane Keller. So this is one I got. Then the soft one, and then I got this medium, which feels like a hard. I use this while I'm wolfing right now, and it's a super dope brush. I really like this, so I got these three royalty brushes right here. Then I went ahead and bought some palm curve brushes. Now I got this soft, right? This is pink. I thought this looked pretty cool. Uh, I bought this just because uh, I figured might as well have some without the handle and with the handle. And I bought this one. It's a red uh, medium. Torino Pro Palm Curve Brush, and then uh, back to the royalties because I ain't, I miss covering this one. This is a corner royalty brush. Uh, it's a medium. You can get that at BrushKing.com. Uh, and I wanted this to work my crown. So that's these three. Let's keep going. All right. So now we're gonna talk about the Waveology Grooming Company. I did a whole video. You guys can see what I think about these. This is a Waveology Grooming Company rectangular brush. I like this one. I used this in the washing style video the other day because it's you can never have enough of these because you're going to want one that you brush your hair with regularly and then you want one that you could do a washing style with to continue the same way you brush. And so if you use this, you can have one while you're doing the washing style. So this is a Waveology uh, brush. This is a Waveology brush. And uh, go check out waveologygroomingcompany.com use my discount code tsunami team if you want any of these this is a medium this is a medium waveology groom company they don't get confused because they're two different ones now and uh make sure you go check them out then uh i got this smooth styles brush right here this is also a rectangular one but i don't have a discount code for this uh and this has nylon bristles whereas uh this has uh authentic board bristles Keep that in mind when you're looking for a rectangular brush. Okay, so then uh, we have some more curved brushes. Now, this is a Mansa made for kings medium curved palm brush. I really like this brush as well. If you get a chance, go check out Mansa on Instagram and uh, or check out their website, Mansa made for kings. Then um, I got these recently, uh, 26 King Wavy. Uh, either one of these this one's a soft I believe and this one's a medium super dope brushes as well uh, These are super dope brushes if you need one go check them out 26 King wavy I actually been brushing a few days with these and I really enjoy using these so um, These actually I enjoy using these over the curved palm brushes that I have I enjoy these ones more last but not least 
because I'm gonna be continuing to add to the brush collection, so don't sleep on me. Okay, so last but not least, we have these. Nick Wavy, Wavy Merch brushes. These are the new ones. I do not have the old ones, so my first Nick Wavy brushes, I really fuck with these. Uh, super dope brushes. This is the white ice one. This is the black ice. I like both of these. This one's softer, and then this one's harder for wolfing. But uh, if you need a brush, and you want to check out Nick Wavy, uh, Wavy Merch brushes, go check these brushes out right here, because they dope. I almost forgot this one. If you're still here, I almost forgot this one. This one's a palm, not a curve, just a palm brush, and it's a medium. Now, this one has the longest bristles out of any brush I have, and it's a Torino Pro. This is also a nice brush, but this really scratched my head still, even though I've been working for 10 weeks, so 12 weeks. So, make sure you go check out Torino Pro. I'm not even advertising for them, because they ain't sent me not one brush, so, but they, they make good brushes, so. If you get a chance, check out Torino Pro on Amazon or BrushKing.com. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy my brush collection. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to keep coming with new videos and new content. Uh, three days or two days left until the Wolf Challenge with me and Lawson PRK is over. I'm going to record it, the cut, everything. And then also, I'm thinking about um, doing the straight hair waiver rate that waiver episode on youtube so if you guys want to get rated make sure that you use the hashtag on your pictures uh straight hair waivers or straight hair waves on instagram so i can see it and i'm gonna go into recent ones and then in the next video if it's not before the haircut video it might be after i'm gonna rate everyone that posted their pictures on there so uh it's your boy tsunami timo hope y'all enjoyed this and I'm out. Scared. Scared. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Yeah.